Okay, it's time to catch some walleye. I need to figure out how to use a fly rig, and I figure I'd take you along with me. Let's see what happens. We're going to take a look at how I had set this up for fly rig fishing for walleye, white bass, might even catch some perch, multi-species rig. So I'm going to show you what I have and uh, hopefully this will help you out. So this is only be used in the, the river systems when you have a current. Okay, you're going to need a trolling motor for this and you're going to want to be going out about a half mile an hour. So you would need a GPS obviously, something to measure your speed. So. Uh, it's, a, it's not too bad of a rig to put together. I'm going to start off, it's a three-way swivel, okay? Put this up there, three-way swivel. And some people call this a Wolf River rig, something close to it. Anyhow, three-way swivel. You're going to have one line that comes down, that's going to be your weight. In this case, I'm using a, a three-quarter ounce jig with a, a bait on there. And then you're going to want to go down. From there, you're going to want to put about a I don't know, 8 to 12 inches worth of leader line on there into a barrel swivel. Then you're going to have two lines coming out, okay? One's going to be a little longer than the other one. Um, you're looking at about, I don't know, foot, foot and a half. And you're going to put your first fly on there, okay? Got your snap swivel on here, kind of jacked up. It's going to give it some extra action um, when you're going. I'm looking, I don't know, like a yellowish red. I'm not sure on the colors what's going to work out there. Then a little longer, you're going to have another fly. Tied in, same thing. you got your your snap swivel there. Okay. And uh, you're allowed to fish with three lines per Wisconsin regulations. And that's what we have, three hooks. So make sure you don't go above that. You can do this with two hooks as well. And, and it should work just fine. So anyways... You can, you can tip these hooks off with the flies. You can put a little crawler on there. You can put a leech on there, uh, maybe even a minnow. Or you can just uh, pull them the way they are, and uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, let's get out on the water. Okay, we're on the Fox River right through Oshkosh. It is May. I think it's May 1st or something like that. Uh, about 80 degrees today. Unseasonably warm. We've got a cold front. Up on, coming up on us this week and uh, just an absolute beautiful day out here on the water so just taking it slow right past the city center heading west and uh, we'll get through a couple of these bridges and we'll throw, throw that rig in the water and see if we can catch it catch something feeling positive Okay, we are gonna. I think we're gonna drop our rig here, getting in some between some of these bridges that you, uh, you know, it's Snow Wake, uh, a little bit better fishing, and uh, we'll hug the, the shoreline. But uh, I don't know, just stay out of the center a bit, see what happens. Okay, so this is the rig. You see there, you got your three quarter ounce weight on the front. We got a little. Little minnow on there and we have our first fly and then our second fly so we got our three lines in the water so this is uh, 
you can see that that's what it's going to be so you let that go down to the bottom and you're going to bounce that out, weight off the bottom and uh, see if you catch something kind of a jig style bottom bounce all right you kind of there we go let's see what happens there we go Ooh, look at that first fish looks like a oh a sheephead caught on the middle fly well we know at least that the uh, the rig catches fish let's get this thing off there and get it back in the water see if we can fi find us a, a walleye well we caught one sheephead still no walleye in the lake I'm sure they're here. I can't find them, but uh, we know that rig works. So we'll have to get out of here on another day. We got a storm rolling in. It's about uh, 4:06 p.m. and I don't want to get caught caught in. Looks like there's a, a thunderstorm rolling in. But anyways, thanks for watching today, and hopefully we'll have better luck next time. More videos to come. Later.